Greetings once again, mortals. Your girl B got some lights, courtesy of my dad and his friend Carlos. We are back again for another Witchy Wednesday and another Box of Shadows unboxing. This month's theme is Yule, and I am super excited for that. Yule is my absolute favorite time of year, so I am just absolutely giddy. I can't wait to smell the smells and whatever else this box has to offer. Sorry if my energy is a little bit off. I have had such a long day, my head is absolutely killing me, and I don't know why, but I always film my Witchy Wednesdays the Tuesday night before the Witchy Wednesday. But here we are. We're doing this. We're making this happen. We're doing the thing. So for those of you who are new to Box of Shadows, Box of Shadows is a monthly subscription box for all of your witchy needs. Each month has a theme and it has a few different tiers. I get the Supreme. Ooh. I smell a smelly smell that smells smelly. The Supreme is the top tier and it costs about $50 a month. Um, there are lower tiers that range from I think the lowest tier is about $20, so if you don't want to spend 50 bucks on a box, you can do the $20 box, and then I think there's like a $35, $40, or something, 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 something. So we have the little dingle hopper that we're not going to read yet. We have cards that we're not going to read. We have green paper that we're going to ignore. I want to show you my box. It's a dick in a box. It's not a dick in a box, but it's stuff in the box. What's in the box? So the first thing I dropped was the Yule Votive, which smells lovely, actually. This is from that Modern Magics. Um, you remember the candle that I got for Samhain that smelled like pumpkin spice deliciousness? That's from the same company, and this smells like... I don't even like Christmas trees and just I can't it just I can't I can't I'm just gonna read it to you and maybe that can put it into words that I, I can't describe this Yule votive is intended to evoke the feeling of thankfulness and renewal use this on your altar or in spell work to honor the winter and move forward to new beginnings blue spruce Christmas hearth scented topped with orange zest nutmeg, rosemary, bay leaf, frankincense, and myrrh. I felt like I was getting a little bit of orange too, which was interesting. Now I'm gonna dig in my box. I'm not gonna drop my box. What is this? It's sticking to my press-on. Eh. So there are two types of people in this world when it comes to bubble wrap. There are people who like normal people and then there are the monsters who, I'm not even going to do that because that's atrocious. So we have Wild Rose Raven Botanical Salt Spray. Ooh. With Raven Sarah, or Raven Sarah, and Vetiver. That sounds sexy. Reminiscent of the damp and diverse forests found in the Pacific Northwest, Raven is earthy, woodsy, and cool with a subtle spice that is hard to place mood. Ooh. Grounding, alluring, pragmatic, this Himalayan salt infused spray produces negative ions, remineralizes skin, and texturizes hair, uses an air freshener yoga mat spray, or subtle hair and body perfume. Shake well. So this seems kind of like a beauty product, but also like a um, everyday life kind of product, and I like stuff like that. We have an empty bag. What was in the bag? I don't know. This is an empty bag. Oh, okay. So we got some cedarwood incense from Morning Star. I almost read that as Morning Wood. That's where my brain goes. I can hear one of my cats in the other room digging in the cabinet. Stop that. I think these are going to be chime candles. I'm most definitely a psychic because they are chime candles. So we got five chime candles and it looks like the next thing is a sage bundle. This looks awfully like the black sage that was in the last video. I don't know, you tell me. Because it's got the little, the little, 
nubbly ooblies that was on the last one. I don't know. We got an ounce of mistletoe. It says, mistletoe is a mystical herb that is an aid in spells of fertility and love. It is also good for sacred spells of protection and producing prophetic visions. So like I said, the struggle of finding jars for all of the ingredients, for all of the things. So we got another Sabat book. Um, apparently you pronounce her name Llewellyn. I totally mispronounced the name in my Sawin video because I'm ignorant, f -ook. The only reason I figured out how to pronounce the name is because I was watching the movie Finding Neverland with Johnny Depp and um, that chick from the Titanic. Um, <laughs> and I always watch movies with the subtitles and the lady, uh, Llewellyn Davies, spells her name this way, this way. so I was like, Oh, that's the same name as the name on the book that I got. Well, you he pronounce her name Llewellyn. So, um, so we got a nice book on Yule. So I imagine this will be a lot similar to the Sawin book, which had so many spectacular little, like, recipes and craft ideas and incantations and stuff like that. Um, really great little Sabat books. So now let's take a look-see here at our little pamphlet that we got with our box. Okay, so it says the contents. One white sage bundle. Okay, so not black sage, but it's white sage. One undressed chime candle bundle. One package of cedarwood incense. One yule votive by Modern Magics. One package of mistletoe. One bottle of Raven Botanical Salt Spray by Wild Rose Herbs. One copy of Yule Rituals, Recipes, and Lore for the Winter Solstice by Susan Pesnicker. Don't ask me to properly pronounce that name. Because I it will never happen. So I... So... I'm confused, y'all. What is... Where did... Where did this guy come from? What's this? What? Who? Did I get an extra little... An extra little guy? So the pamphlet looks like gives a little bit of information on Yule. Um, talks a little bit about the mistletoe. Oh, here's where the drawstring pouch comes in. It has instructions on how to make a success charm, and they give you the little green drawstring pouch to make the success charm. So, ah, okay, okay, I think where you're coming from. That's just a little, little extra thing you threw in there. Okay. And then they have a little recipe here for Celtic crescent cakes. This sounds delicious. I am going to try to make that. You know, if we're being completely honest, I am a little bit disappointed with the predictability of each box. I feel like um, the sage and the candles, I mean the books are great and everything but I feel like everything's a little bit predictable. It's all kind of the same things each month and not a whole lot of uh, new stuff. I mean all of these things are great to have and I mean they can be great to have in bulk and everything but it's just I mean, these are things that we can kind of, that we can kind of go and get ourselves. When we subscribe to boxes and we're paying significant amounts of money, we're looking for something different. I kind of feel like a lot of the things that are coming in each month are things that I can go and pick up right down the street. These things are really nice and they are really great quality and everything, but they're kind of getting predictable and they're kind of losing their, um, what's the word I'm looking for? They're kind of losing their allure. I feel like this particular box is very Wiccan based and I'm not Wiccan at all. I think I'd like to see a more eclectic and diverse box. This is very, um, it's just getting kind of fluffy for me. I just feel like maybe this is a little bit too new age and I might, I might be looking for something a little bit older. I'm definitely looking for a little bit more diversity. As much as I've really liked some of the things that I've gotten in Box of Shadows so far, I think 
maybe it's time to um, start searching for a different box. If you know of any boxes of maybe more of what I'm looking for, uh, leave a comment. Let me know if you know of any. If you suggest which crate, I'm sure you've heard of it in passing. Uh, I'm going to assume that you have not done research or had a first-hand experience with it. Do not go with witch crate. I'm just, I'm just saying from my own personal experience, don't do that. In the meantime, I am going to stay with Box of Shadows until I do find something that fits more my style. Because I really do like the convenience and I do like the quality of the products and I have gotten some really nice stuff from them. Also. If I have any clairvoyance in my viewers, um, so the other day I saw a blonde woman in my room. Have not seen her since, have not heard from her since. I'm not going to go out of my way to contact her or try to communicate with her. That's not how I roll. But if you have at all seen her in this video or heard anything or anything like that, um, leave a comment because maybe it was easier for her to speak to you than it was for her to speak to me. With everything that's been going on with me lately, um, it's been really difficult for me and <laughs> the spirit realm to communicate with each other. My own spirit guide and I have not been speaking for a cool minute. We're not like not speaking to each other, but it's just with everything that's going on, it's just hard to communicate. So if she's got something to say, let her know. Okay, what? <laughs> but I did see her in a reflection in my mirror the other day when I was cleaning and I just I haven't heard from her since so I was like okay well I mean maybe she has something to say to me and also for my aura readers out there I so apologize for my aura right now <laughs> I know you see it just ignore that don't forget to leave your comments down below don't forget to subscribe also don't forget to like share send a messenger pigeon all of that business i really like when you guys leave comments and feedback and stuff i don't know i like reading your guys's comments especially finding out that like there are people that follow me that i don't know what i have followers that aren't my friends what I'm just kidding. You're all my friends. Let me know what you guys think of the lights. I'm digging it. I'm glad I can see myself. You guys can see me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm still trying to come up with an outro and I will see you guys next time.